So I've had some people ask about current consumption between the new ICOM 7300 Mark II that's on loan from Gigaparts and the original ICOM 7300. So I thought we'd do a little test. We've got my battery box here. There's a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery in there. We're gonna be looking at this Droke meter and we're gonna be watching uh, this part right here that says current. As far as setup, I've Tried to put everything exactly the same settings. We're using two uh, exact length coax from Messi and Poloni. This is the Hyperflex 5 going from both the Mark II and the 7300 into an antenna switch. And then that is going into some more Messi and Poloni. This is their crystal, whatever the heck it is, going into the watt meter and then going into a dummy load. And we're going to be using, uh, I've got the straight key here on the 7300 and I have the paddle on the 7300 Mark II. They're both set to straight key. So the paddle part doesn't work, it'll just act as a straight key. And I have the display brightnesses and everything set exactly the same. Literally everything's exactly the same. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and turn on the power for the original IC7300. And we're just on receive here and we're pulling 0.95 amps just sitting there on receive. Now, if we power on the 7300 Mark II, wait for this to boot up here, and you can see we are pulling 0.7 amps, so about 250 milliamps less current the 7300 Mark II is pulling, which is uh, not a huge improvement, but 0.7 amps on receive for a 100 watt radio, that's fantastic. Now, I also do want to note, uh, as I was comparing these side to side, the uh, contrast on the new 7300 Mark II, the blacks are a lot blacker on this new radio than they are on the original one. I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera, but uh, it appears they have also upgraded the screen to have a bit more uh, contrast in there. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's turn off the 7300 Mark II. And actually, let me turn this back on so I can show you uh, both of the settings here. So you can see we're both RF power 100%, CW pitch 660 hertz because I couldn't get to 666, 20 words per minute, whatever, it's irrelevant. So let's turn off the Mark II and make sure we're switched over to that coax. 100 watts key down, 0.95 amps on receive, and 100 watts key down, 18.2827, uh, hmm, somewhere in that ballpark. Just call it, call it 18.28, that's the highest we're seeing there. Okay, now let's turn on the Mark II, and we'll do the same test with that. Switch to that port. 100 watts key down, 0.7 receive, and 16.97's about the max we're seeing there. So about one and a quarter amps on transmit less that the 7300 Mark II uses than the 7300. So they've managed to make a new radio, add new features in it, and make it more power efficient. That's pretty awesome. Thanks again to Gigaparts for sending the Mark II out for us to review. You can get double points using code K at MRD at checkout at Gigaparts. My name is Mike, K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube 73.